first and foremost is obviously it's a big uh, weekend for the club with Jamie Batty getting his 50th cap. Um, as a club we celebrate these um, big successes. Um, Jamie's been a fantastic player, uh, well, certainly was when he was here before and then he's again as he's come back in he's a real favourite with the boys so it's an extra incentive for us this week to get in a good performance for him. We've also got a few changes in our forward pack this week, um, Johnny Matthews come back onto the bench, uh, Josh Turner had a, a little head knock so um, he's getting rested this week. Um, great to get Johnny back, he's obviously done really well for us in those pre-season games and, and the Ulster game so he'll be ready to go off the bench. Um, slight change at second row obviously as well with Scott out at the moment so Lewis Bean can comes in and, and gets a starting position and again brings an extra bit of bulk to our pack which, which could be important against the Lions this week. Rory Darge um, obviously missed last week's uh, game because of injury and he comes back into the, the starting lineup, um, which is obviously unfortunate for, for Tom. Both have been playing really well so it's great to have that competition in the forward pack. And I suppose a big one is, is Matt Ferguson coming back into the, the squad um, and I think everybody at Scotson is looking forward to seeing him play again this week. Obviously there's a few changes in the backs this week as well. Um, Jamie Dobby, we're, we're bringing him in starting at nine, um, again just rotating our nines about. Both nines have played well so I just want to give, give them both a, a bit of game time. Um, so we're excited to see Jamie play starting his first game this season at, at Scotson. Um, Nick Grigg comes into the centre position, again Sony uh, is moving on to the bench. Sony had an excellent game last week but we've got a lot of competition in, in our centres so again we want to make sure guys are getting an opportunity to play and you know, Nick's had a fantastic week's training this week so we're looking forward to, to seeing him again this week at Scotson uh, and Duncan Weir has recovered from that, that head knock he had and he pushes himself back onto the bench this week so yeah exciting back line again we've got out this week. Yeah, the Lions, uh, I suppose there's a lot of similarities there between them and the Sharks, they're obviously a big pack and very physical um, they've got a quite organised, structured game. Um, they probably pose similar threats in that they've got some real quick guys out in those wide channels. Uh, Max Wani in particular is, is a real threat, so we need to really get a straight jacket on him and not give him any time and space on the ball. Um, they've had a change at 10, so you know, that'll be interesting to see how that goes for them. Um, and they've got a really strong running 12 who carries a lot for them, so we'll have to be physical on him. But yeah, some, some, some similar challenges to the Sharks, but obviously as last week showed, you know, if we play well and attack and defence, then we, we can come away with the win this weekend. Yeah, massively excited to be back, um, especially in front of all the fans. Uh, it's been a long time since we've had them back here at Scotland, so can't wait to run out to them. Uh, from the Lions, yeah, I think they'll be quite fast and physical, um, and we'll have to put in an 80-minute performance, but um, you know, we've had a really good training week, uh, so we'll just f focus on ourselves, uh, and it'll be a really good game.